Okay, Elliot Stocks, Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat. I'm with Josh Taylor. Josh, how are you doing today? I'm good, mate. Yeah, who's yourself? Yeah, I'm really yourself. good, thanks. How, how's camp? It's not, not too long to go now until you Not too long to go now. now. Uh, three weeks Saturday, so another another two weeks uh, hard work. This is the right proper um, where I put the graft in. You know, yeah. I put the graft in. This is the hardest part of camp, this next three weeks. Uh, um, well, next two and a half weeks um, yeah. isn't the hardest part of the camp. This is right. where I really put the graft in. And, and get to my peak condition. So absolutely. Um, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm performing great in the gym. Yeah. Um, feel like I'm almost ready to fight now. So yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm nice and confident, relaxed, and uh, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, and obviously it's part part of the tournament. We've seen um, George Rose, for example, Cam Smith comes to final of that tournament mm -hmm. a couple of weeks ago. Um, I can imagine it can be quite demanding because you have a fight, things just come through, and then it feels like you're back into the camp quite quickly. Do you think that's going to happen with you all being well in, in a couple of weeks' time? And how do you feel about going, I feel not having like, a I'm, break? I have no problem yeah. with that at all, you know, because I, I keep myself in shape regularly anyway. Mm. After fights, I'll maybe take two or three weeks off, and then I'm, or two weeks off, and then I'm, and then I'm back in the gym taking over again anyway. Yeah. You know, so um, I know I've got three fights scheduled in, so. Yeah. That means I can then take a couple of weeks off rest and do nothing. Yeah. Straight back into the gym, taking over again, getting ready for the next one, given that I'm no, no injuries, yeah. no uh, physical injuries or hands or cuts Absolutely. or, you know. Um, so, yeah, um, I, I'm really excited about it. So, yeah. I've no issue with taking, like, getting back into training because I'm, I train all year round anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. Absolutely. And um, how, how many fights have you had with, with Shane now? Thirteen now. I've been be, I've been with Shane since yeah. I turned professional. Yeah. 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 And um, are you? How do you? I know you're not from <laughs> from London yourself. How are you finding life life in London? Yeah, it's good. Uh, I've just got myself a wee flat down here as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm settled in. Um, loving London life. You know, it's, yeah. um, I'm I'm used to being away anyway because as an amateur, I probably spent five years, six years of be travelling around the world anyway, going to all these different tournaments. Mm -hmm. Spent four years in Sheffield, mm -hmm. week in, week out. Mm -hmm. So I'm used to being away and training and uh, and focusing away from home. You know, yeah. I think that's what I need. Yeah. Because I, th I feel when I go back home and I train, mm -hmm. I feel more relaxed, you know, because mm -hmm. it's, it's like a luxury for me to be home and spending quality time with my, mm -hmm. with my family and my girlfriend. You know, and my friends, so um, I can <coughs> take the eye off the ball a yeah. bit when I go home because it's a luxury. But yeah, um, I love being down here, and you know, yeah. and it's just it's, yeah, it's great. It's a nice mix. And in terms of where you're going to be fighting coming up, do you think you're going to stick to Glasgow, or perhaps when you're main eventing, fight back in London or other venues? What's 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 on your? I'm open to fight there? anywhere. You know, yeah. I'm open to fight anywhere. You know, obviously. My first choice would be Glasgow, you know, mm. or okay. or Edinburgh. Yeah. Obviously, I, I, you obviously want to fight at home in front of yeah. your home fans and bring mm -hmm. bring big nights back to your home mm. Um, mm. and get all your home fans behind you. Obviously, any fighter will tell you they, they would love mm. that. They would much prefer that, mm. given a choice. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't bother me if I have to fight away anywhere anyway. So uh, yeah. I've done it for years. I've done it yeah. for years. I've Absolutely. I've done it as a professional as well. Yeah. You know, I've been to America three times. Boxed in London, boxed in Ireland, yeah. uh, boxed in Manchester, you know, yeah. so I've, I've boxed all over as a professional as well. Big time. Um, just in terms of being back home, do you think that Glasgow is just a bit more realistic than Edinburgh? Because I was, I was speaking to John Thane earlier, who's here today, who's saying, you know, he'd love to fight, love there to be big shows in Edinburgh, like the are in Glasgow, like with your yeah. fight coming up. Yeah. He feels like the venue is there, you've got small venues for small shows, where you've mm. got big stadiums. Yeah. Um, do you, would you, would you agree with that that there just aren't the venues for the yeah. size of fights? Yeah, well, that's why I am fighting in Glasgow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the only arena that I was fighting in that that's probably too small now as well was Meadow Bank okay. Sports Centre, and it's now been it's been it got closed down for refurbishment, mm. but they're making it smaller. And it's got the premises and the grounds mm. to to be a huge arena. They could mm. build a huge indoor mm. arena in there, you know, and that would be. That would be a, a venue for concerts and yeah. sporting events and everything. You know, it would be it would be brilliant. But they decided to make it smaller and make it into student flats. I think it's a uh, an absolute joke for it being the capital city of the of the country and it not having an indoor arena for yeah. concerts or yeah. events or or boxing matches, sporting events. Yeah. Nothing. You know, it's it's uh, it's terrible. So. Yeah. 
Um, we go to Glasgow. Yeah. I have no complaints of going to Glasgow because I love Glasgow. Mm. Um, mm. I won the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, mm. and the Hydro that I fight in is a top top venue. You know yeah. the the change rooms are brilliant. Everything about the Hydro is top of the range. It's it's the late the state of the art. Yeah. You know arena is is brilliant. So yeah. um, that's my home now. You mm. know and uh, I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah, but it is it is a little bit frustrating that I can't. Uh, get a proper home show, you yeah. know, in in Edinburgh. So, um, I'd love to fight at the likes of Edinburgh Castle, you know, yeah. just before the fringe with the Esplanades up, and you know, yeah. I, I put a tweet up and a picture up on Twitter, mm. um, with it all up, and a mm. boxing ring in the middle of that mm. would be amazing, you know, or a stadium fight, you know, Easter yeah. Road or Tyne Castle, you know, yeah. it would be it would be brilliant, but you're just not guaranteed the weather. No, uh, absolutely. Or um, a Hibs your team if you'd like to fight at Easter Road. Hibs my team, yeah, yeah, yeah Hibs okay. my team, yeah. Um, um, I, I would, I'd like to keep it neutral uh, yeah. because there's, <laughs> you've got about live and free, so I could say Murrayfield, but Murrayfield's just massive. Yeah. So the castle would be a great venue, but yeah. I would love to fight at a stadium. Yeah, Absolutely. definitely. Cool. Um, so I've got to ask you about your opponent, um, Ryan Martin, another undefeated fighter such as yourself. Um, if, if I had never heard of his name before, what, how would you describe him to me? What, what do you know about him? I don't know an awful lot about him, mm. uh, but obviously I've done my research on him since I got matched up. Before I got matched up with him, I didn't know an awful lot about him. I hadn't seen, hadn't seen him fight, you know, yeah. so I hadn't really heard of him before. Um, but as soon as I got matched up with him, I'd done a little bit of homework and done my research on him and watched him fight. Um, Great fighter, you know he's, he's 22 and 0. Mm -hmm. You know he had a good amateur career as well. Uh, he's got fast hands, he's sound defensively, quick feet, um, and good variation of punches. You know and, and good timing. So yeah. um, I'm going to have to be switched on, um, and I will be. Yeah. Um, but you know I feel that I'm, I'm, this is my time to shine, and yeah. I'm going to I'm going to come through this fight. Absolutely, no problem. Um, all the best and good luck to Josh. Just one final question: Are that fellow Brit Ter Terry Flanagan is also in the tournament? Um, uh, Terry, Terry Flanagan, um, oh, right, fellow yeah. also fighting in the tournament um, against Regis Pro Pro Grace, I think that's how you say his surname. Yeah, yeah. um, that fight's coming up soon as well. Do you know much about about either fight, and do you have a yeah. question how that's well, going to go? A lot of people, from what I've been reading, a lot of people are ruling Terry Flanagan out. Mm. Um, mm. They're saying that. He's not got a lot of people are saying that he's not got a chance or it's a tough fight for him. Well it is a tough fight. Every fight in this every fight in this competition is. Um but I think he's got a good chance and I think people are overlooking him. Um, yes. and that can be quite dangerous. Yeah. You know, so I think Terry Flanagan's a good fighter and he, and he's up for it, so yeah. he could cause an upset. Okay. Which would then set up a, a great final for him and I in the final. Absolutely, that'd be fantastic. So, yeah. see you after, Josh. Thanks for giving me a bit of your time, Josh. It's really appreciated. No problem. Cheers. No problem. Cheers.